We are in a cafe right now eating breakfast. We actually have a very long day ahead of us. We're gonna go to Belgrano, we're gonna go to Chinatown, and tomorrow we're gonna go to the Recoleta Market and San Telmo Market, and I'm really excited. But I'm more excited right now for this coffee because it just looks so freaking good. I just did a full series of Crest 3D white strips and I'm not gonna stain my teeth. So from now on, I'm bringing a straw everywhere I go to drink my cafe con leche. exploring Belgrano and honestly we really like it it's really cute and it's really peaceful I feel like with the other areas of Buenos Aires like it's kind of busy and it's kind of loud but Belgrano is packed and it's kind of peaceful we really liked it we enjoyed Chinatown a lot we ate a lot of good food and it's kind of cold so we're taking a rest right now in El Ateneo another one we didn't know this one even existed and I don't really know what we're gonna do next. But if you watch my last Buenos Aires vlog, we were apartment hunting and we searched for a few apartments in the Recoleta area. And we thought that we really, really, really wanted to stay in that area. Palermo was like our second choice. But after spending a few hours in Belgrano, we're like, this may be an area that we want to live in. no other way to end our day out other than stopping and getting empanadas. This shop is literally like a five second walk from our house and these are the best empanadas I've had so far. The ham and cheese one just hits every single time. I really do like the alfajores here and truthfully I prefer the blanco ones like the white chocolate ones because when you have chocolate with dulce de leche it's just a little bit too strong but when you have the white on the outside it's like the perfect combination. We also stopped at the pet store on our way back and we got Max some ears, which sounds really gross to say, but they were like three for 350 pesos. The feeling I'm going through, I just can't say I don't love you. Cause I love you. We got Polka a new scratcher. This one's cardboard. We are not sure if she's gonna use it or not, but we'll see. Today is Sunday and we're about to go to the Recoleta Market 
We are about a 20-ish minute walk from Recoleta and it's not nice weather out today. It looks really cold outside, but we are hoping to spend like the whole day out today. I'm not sure if we're gonna buy some stuff, but I'm fully prepared to spend some money if I need to. We're gonna bring Max too, so hopefully he will be able to see some dog friends today and get him super tired. I do have these earmuffs that are really cute, but I don't know if it's that cold to need to wear earmuffs today. Like, I feel this is a little bit too much. It's only 50 degrees outside, it still has a tag on it. This may be a little bit too much. Look at the Argentina shirt we got, Max. He looks so cute in it. It's really cute. We got it before we left for like $3 and it fits him really well. It's supposed to open at 11 and it's like 12:30 right now and half of the shops aren't even open I think it's because the weather's so bad and it looks like it's going to rain We got some empanadas of course and we're gonna head back now But the Americans and us want to stop at McDonald's So we're gonna stop at McDonald's for lunch and then head back. I think it's going to rain So hopefully we can make the rain. We got Max with us and we don't want a wet dog We just we don't want that to happen. Michael. What are your thoughts on the market? Um, there was a lot of stuff from last year when I was here that I remembered and I only came once. So like, uh, you know, I'm sure people rent out their stalls every season or whatever or every year. But um, the places I wanted to go back to weren't here, so I was a little bit disappointed. So everything was the same except for the stuff that I wanted to be the same. So, opening this up. Has mustard. There are locations in America that has mustard, but I see more McDonald's not have mustard than do have mustard. Also, you may see it's very obvious there's no pickle. And then on this side, oh, I want to say this patty's a little bit different, but I, I can't tell. Everything else looks pretty much the same. So, I got a tostado with ham and cheese. It's a good 7 out of 10. Really can't complain with it. <laughs> 